Cool. So let's talk about the areas here, right? So when, when I asked you where, where you're investing, you said, you know, around Midway, uh, you know, some of those near South and Southwest burbs. It, it, talk to us about the area there. Like maybe just go North to South or East to West, however you want to describe the area and just go, we'll, we'll dive in from there. Cool. So uh, I guess for further South uh, properties that we have are in Elsa, Illinois. And then, uh, you know, we jumped to Chicago Ridge, which is just like kind of right in front of that. And then Burbank, which is in front of that. And then if you go right in front of that, you, you run into Chicago and uh, what I call like clearing or Garfield Ridge or a lot of people call Midway. So areas themselves, all pretty similar um, uh, outside of, you know, ones actually in Chicago, but the suburban properties are all pretty similar. Each, each suburb, I think you guys have some on your website, have their own little nuances with being a landlord inside of them and things like that. But for the most part, they're, they're all pretty similar because at the end of the day, you're, you're in Cook County. So. Also falls under a lot, like um, a lot of Chicago, like the, the, some of their resources are, they use like, I think uh, Chicago resources for a lot of their, their stuff. So they're unique to, to be a landlord and like, they don't have the rental license. They fall under the Chicago codes. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, they have um, uh, crime-free housing that's local. They do have like their own, you know, I mean, they are involved though. They use some Chicago resources, but I mean, the villages themselves are still heavily involved with, with, with apartment buildings, getting your licenses there and things like that. So, you know, going from like uh, Garfield Ridge or clearing uh, like to one of these suburbs, like what's, what's the pros and cons in your opinion? Cause I get that question all the time about uh, should I be in the city or should I be in the suburbs? And, and uh, I'd love to hear other people's perspective. Cool. So uh, uh, just for like round numbers, we paid about the same, you know, for property Ridge Chicago as we were paying like in Elsa or Chicago Ridge or anywhere like that. So just trying to compare apples to apples. There's annual inspections in these little uh, villages. Some of them where the fire department also inspects, uh, which is a lot more, you know, uh, paying our guys to kind of sit around all day and wait for them to come out and look at it. In the city, we don't we don't get any of those inspections really. Uh, we just get the boiler inspections on buildings that are larger. I think I think we only have it in a couple of our properties. We have to do the city boiler inspections. So um, and then looking at it, you know, we paid the same about the same price, right? And the tax bills are almost double in the suburbs as they are in the city, and also the water bill is probably about thirty percent higher as well. That's a big jump. Do do rents offset that, right? Like. How are you just say hey, like my, I know my NOI is going to be less out here. So the rents are about the same too. So, you know, that's why I really, really like sticking in my little pocket over here in Chicago. Uh, you know, valuing buildings today, I could like, you know, kind of pay less for the suburb ones, more for the Chicago ones. But, you know, you're always still kind of running that uh, property test risk. Uh, trying to figure that out is always always fun. I'm sure everyone has their go-to guy that they send properties to to tell you what the bad news is going to be. But um, <laughs> yeah. Well, looking at the stuff you have in Chicago, and you grew up in West Lawn. Like, talk talks about kind of uh, what you've seen and over you know from being a little kid to growing up and getting into the business and kind of you know you're you're invest you're investing money into these neighborhoods now. Um, you know. Where's where are you seeing that's good that's happening over there? So uh, I like to I like to like kind of consider this. This is just kind of like the backbone of Chicago. This is a lot of where uh, you'll find a lot of like um, office you know office workers, blue collar workers, things like that. A lot of workforce of Chicago are in these areas. Uh, I happen to buy not where I grew up. I grew up east of the airport. I don't have any buildings over there, and uh, not that I won't buy over there, but necessarily I haven't had anything that has made sense in that area I'm mostly west of the airport um, which is interesting because like usually a lot of times people will follow the train systems and things like that and if you look west over there there is no train or there is no you know there's just buses and things like that but um, I find that the uh, uh, the the customer the tenant is 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 usually uh, a, a higher quality on that side of the airport, I feel like uh, we get a lot more demand on that side of the airport. Um, we never really have any vacancies or things like that. And we don't have any uh, trouble with collections either. 